gaming subscription service Arcade has officially launched, giving iPhone users access to a large library of curated mobile games for a relatively small subscription fee. It's a promising step away from the current mess of microtransactions that is the App Store, and with monthly additions to the library, plus the latest iOS update finally adding proper third-party controller support, Xbox One S and PlayStation DualShock 4. Arcade has once again got me looking at my powerful pocket device for its gaming potential, instead of just the brainwashing social device that controls my life and occasionally orders me Uber Eats. So I signed up for the 30 day free trial and played through a heap of games to come up with a short list of my personal faves from the Apple Arcade, in no particular order. creators of Mini Metro have taken their minimalist mass transit manager to the streets, ditching the environmentally friendly public transport for gas guzzling cars. Tasked with connecting coloured houses to their corresponding workplaces, the game still manages to balance a calm zen-like vibe with the inevitable panic as your city eventually grinds to a halt. Successfully surviving a full week rewards you with extra road and a choice of infrastructure like bridges, traffic lights and motorways to help your citizens smoothly make it to their mindless, unfulfilling jobs and then home again. It's perfect for playing on the bus, going to work. Right off the bat, this is a weird one. Starting out with cutout style cavemen, the goal is to work your way through the ages, smashing and stabbing your opponent with the eventual goal of inventing the world's favourite pastime, cricket. This hilarious physics flailer only uses a single touch input, but it does manage to get some serious lols through various scenarios, interesting items, and different rule sets. The quickfire warrior wear like matches are easy to pick up and quite hard to put down as rounds devolve into ridiculous ragdoll face offs that are just not cricket. They're actually fun. Ooh. Successfully downsizing the strategy and tactics of a turn-based squad combat game, Spaceland is essentially XCOM in your pocket. Minimalizing the action to only a small squad, you navigate disused little space-based dioramas with an easy-to-follow grid system and a pleasant rounded art style. But with limited ammunition and evolving enemy types, the game does quickly step up the challenge, requiring good use of cover and upgradable abilities in order to get your pint-sized little tiny space marines out of there alive. <laughs> While the arcade is full of shiny, 3D, AAA looking console games, I still have more than a soft spot for your old Match 3 style mobile classics. Grindstone puts an adorably gruesome spin on the genre, creating a sort of match and slash style puzzler that has you hack your way through colourful creeps in order to grab loot, unlock an exit and progress onwards. Sporting a bright Adventure Time art style that perfectly suits the game's brutal action and absurd creature design, the game achieves an unsettling level of satisfaction as you combo massive chains of attacks together through multiple species of creatures that allows you to then bring the hurt down on even tougher foes, like this poor little guy. Oh, and in case you were wondering, your overly aggressive hero is doing all of this gem puzzle inspired genocide in the hopes to earn enough loot to take his wife and child away on holiday. Aww. If you ever thought the rules of golf could use a bit of a shake-up, then What the Golf is the perfect way to spoil a game that already spoils a good walk. This utterly mad cap take on the classic sport spirals out of control from the second hole. And from there it's nothing but foolishness on the fairway as you explore a golf lab as a sentient ball, unlocking all manner of weird and wacky holes that can each be played a number of different ways in order to earn a shiny gold crown. Combining classic golf gameplay mechanics with constantly surprising course ideas makes it perfect for a quick round or two, and if nothing else, we'll just leave you lolling in the links. So those are my picks for what to check out if you're planning on dipping your toe into the ever-growing pool of mobile games available in Apple's new arcade service. There are of course plenty of other titles worth checking out, and they range from fun distractions to some that I was less of a fan of. But with a free trial available and absolutely no microtransactions permitted in any of the titles, this is an arcade worth visiting and one that hopefully won't bleed you dry of all your hard-earned pocket money.